What makes you think that I was the desperado? Oh, when the glass shattered, I saw that he'd been cut. And then when I met you in the corridor, I saw the blood on your forehead. It was simple. I just put two and two together. What courage to avenge the Lopez killings. But the boy, too, was killed. The whole family was wiped out. He gave me that little bell. A strange gift. Not really so strange as it looks. He would ring it when he wanted to play with me. Those were golden days. No one knows of this. I, uh, I treasure that gift. And you're still in love? Of course. I cherish Manuel's memory. He'll always be in my heart. I want you to leave. It's much too dangerous for you here. They'll catch you and hang you. And then what will become of those you're trying to protect? Don't be afraid, Elena, because even if you do deserve to die, I intend to grant you my pardon, although I shouldn't. What vile and natural acts. I know one should die rather than let such things occur. Why, he wanted to make me go pee-pee and fart. But you have no idea what he insisted on, and you know what he's like. It was better for me to let him have what he wanted, even though I sacrificed our honor in a way. But I beg you to forgive me, because at least it wasn't just Anybody? Oh, husband, oh, husband mine, I can see that you don't believe me. I fear that... I fear that now you will never be able to trust me again. Oh, please forgive me. I beg you, I beg you, Galante. An Italian, jealous, and a flatfoot. And so? Above all, a flatfoot. <laughs> oh, the coffee. I made it weak. You're too nervous. You're going already? I got up too late in this house. It's okay for you, but uh, I work for a living. <sighs> no, that goes on. You're being a wife? A wife? Things wouldn't be any different. Why? We never see each other. We keep arguing. We make love once a week, rather quickly. <sighs> Isn't it just like being married? <laughs> And next time you show up, bring your own razor. Oh. I'll put the next one between your eyes. Now mount and move out. Well, oblige, Miss Kelly, if you'll allow me to exchange a few syllables with you. All right. Say what you want and make it quick. Well, uh, certainly, Miss Kelly. You see, years ago, your old man won this ranch a game of blind poker. There was a clause in the uh, pact for a rematch between the new proprietor and the loser, which happened to be my old man. Hmm? Yes, my father told me about this, but he's dead. Yeah, well, so is mine dead. So let us not get all uppity. Since you and I would be their legal heirs, we can finish this where they left off. Yeah, well, I prefer settling this with my gun. Oh, oh, Professor Chelani. Morning. I saw you yesterday on the field. Uh, yes, I was. Uh, uh, it looked uh, like fun, the game. Yes. Uh, uh, is it nice to play ball? Uh, much fun, yes. Oh, it was really exciting to watch you, Professor. It was just a ball game. No, no, no. It was more than that. Much more than that. In my girlish heart, I felt stimulated. Mm -hmm. They turned me on, your big muscles. Mm -hmm. You really must give me private lessons. Mm -hmm. I bet I'd be good at it in my girlish way. That is playing ball. You know I've got talent, don't you? But I must experiment. Is my meaning clear? Uh, crystal clear. I wish you'd go jump in the river. And Did you say go jump in uh, the river? No, uh, yes. Oh, that'd uh, be good. Yeah. Just you and me, uh, bare assed in the water. <laughs> I'm mighty generous with my boyfriends. Uh, but... Not only men get horny, honey. You're jungle beasts, all you men. But I need you anyway. Yesterday at Laszlo's, I saw your photos. Saw my photos? Yes, photos in the nude, posing as a bedroom harlot. But, Lisa, posing as a what? Mother, it's useless to pretend you don't understand. I'm not scandalized, if that's what you're worried about. But I think I've every right to know the truth, since I'm involved, too. Since you say you've seen these photos, 
I'm not going to say you didn't. But I swear I don't know anything. If they existed naturally, someone must have taken them. Only I wasn't aware of it. Most likely while I was sleeping. In that case, it was certainly your father. Mother, your filthy photos ended up with Laszlo. In his laboratory, inside a book. You can't be insinuating. You mustn't think that, not even as a joke. I think nothing, Mama. I'd like to know why. That's all I ask. Oh, no, you can't refuse. An invitation to the Emperor's banquet is not an invitation. It's an order. Your name is Acti. Am I right? Yes, my name is Acti. I'm Greek. I was a slave. Caesar gave me my freedom. I know. I've heard of you. <laughs> you mean you've heard what people say about me? No, everyone in Rome knows who you are. <sighs> One of the Emperor's concubines. I would say a woman the Emperor wanted to marry. <laughs> Instead, the wife of the Emperor is called Papaya Sabina. And that fine woman has given him a daughter. You may think I speak like this out of bitterness because Nero has cast me aside. And yet I want to tell you what I feel. Beware of Poppea. I don't know why you're here or how long you'll stay. I was only told that I should tend to your needs. And when I saw you, so young, so sweet, I said to myself, Poppea will be hostile toward her too. Now oh, there you are, you mischievous thing, you. Wait there now. Fantigaro? Oh, where is that naughty child? Fantigaro! Oh. <laughs> Catherine, Carolyn, have you seen your little sister? She never plays with us. She's a little boy. Come back here! <laughs> ah! Gotcha. And what is this? You make music on it. Oh, and how do you play it? It's play like a flute. I'll show no, you. No, she doesn't play it. She puts stones in it, see? And then she breaks my dolls. Fantagaro, it's frightening girl. And right on the day your father is just returned home. <laughs>